South Dakota needs to spend time and effort preparing its young people for the world of work. As school districts have struggled with budget constraints, one uh, means that they've used to manage their expenses is to reduce some of the electives that our students have available in high school. And some of these electives, unfortunately, are career and technical education opportunities. Those welding classes, those ag classes, those health ed and engineering classes that give students uh, elective course opportunities that can also be explorations of potential careers. And it costs too much money to have every one of these high schools offer these career opportunities. So it made sense to me that we try to regionalize the offerings and find a high school in every region in the state that could create a very good career and tech ed package of classes and offer it not to just that school district, but all surrounding school districts as well. So just last February, the state utilized future funds to grant over $8 million in grants to a whole array of school districts around every region of the state to create programs and to uh, reinvigorate programs in electronics, in machining, in the building trades, in the healthcare industry, in accounting. And I think what we want to do is, again, give our high school students the opportunity to try out these courses, see if it's a field that they may be interested in pursuing, gain credit for their high school degree, and also gain credit toward the beginnings of a post-secondary uh, career as well.